Hello everyone. This is another in the Talkaholics Texts series. This is Talkaholic Text number eight. And we're going to be talking about art. Isn't that exciting? For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Eric. I'm an American teacher from New York City. And I'm hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal. I hope you'll join me in this class. Three rules, three easy to remember rules to help you in a class. Turn off, tune in, and open up. What does that mean? Turn off means turn off your microphone when you come into the Google chat, and also close the verbling window because you can hear the sound twice if you don't, and you won't know where it's coming from, including your own voice. It gets confusing. So turn those off, and please turn on your microphone when you're ready to speak. Okay, so you can definitely keep it on when you're speaking. Tune in means tune into the new words you're going to hear. Now, in this kind of class, it's really about talking, but we want to get some input by reading articles and learning some new words, and I'll try to guide you along to that effort, but I want you to do your part by actively using the words you use, you learn, throughout the class, especially in our conversation in the second half. And finally, open up. Don't be closed. Open up to your classmates and speak, relax, and have fun. The more you speak, the more I can help you with your English, the more feedback I can give you. So, if you're a premium member, you know you can reserve a place in the class. However, if you're not sure about it or want to try, no problem. You can always get a membership by going to the top of the Verbling page where it says, Get Reservations. If you click there, you'll see a variety of ways to get a reservation and to join the class. You can send invites to friends. You can watch a video. Oh, there's many different ways. So that way you can reserve a place in the class and get a little bit more teacher time. We can find out more about you, which is good for us because it helps us plan, right? And you get a little bit more personalized time in the beginning. Uh, and plus, you know you're going to get into class, so it's an excellent idea. Give it a shot. So, I'm going to turn off my um, screen sharing and talk to you face-to-face. -face. I see some uh, regulars have joined us. Hello, Inga. Welcome back. And hello, Hazel. Hello. With your new profile picture. <laughs> excellent. And I saw Achman, but I don't see him in the class. It said he was joining, but I don't see him. Ah, there he is. Excellent. OK, and for you seven viewers out there, oh, sorry, for you six viewers <laughs> out there, there's plenty of space if you want to. Oh, sorry, for you four viewers out there, <laughs> there's, there's, well, I'm really unpopular today. What happened? This is a great article, too. What's the problem? For you three viewers that are left, <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can scare them all away. Ah, look at that. We've got, uh, was it Kuzka? Is that right? Kuzka, why don't you join the class? We've got plenty of space today, so come in. Um, I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to give you, you've already got a link to the article, uh, and if you had, oh, and there's Marcella. Marcella, join the class. Come inside. I'm going to give you a new link to something a little different. It's there in the front page, okay? but I'm going to give you the link in the chat window as well. Uh, there it is. Oh, who joined us? Omar. Welcome, Omar. Omar disappeared. <laughs> uh, we've got some people coming in. Okay, there we go. Uh, Ur Urzula. I hope I'm saying that right. Urzula. Ursula, Ursula. Hi, Ursula. How are you? Where are you from? Um, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm from Poland. You're from Poland. Excellent. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, and Mr. Omar, I think you're back. Hi, Omar. Don't forget to turn on your mic, Omar. There you go. I heard you. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Not sure. But we also have... Uh, Chiho. Hello, Chiho. How are you? Hi. Hey. I'm good. Hi. Nice wow. to meet you. Wow. 
That's huh? that's a very interesting expression you have in your profile picture. <laughs> you looked surprised. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> Just I have a this picture, so Excellent. sorry. You should you should turn on your webcam and just make that face for the entire class. <laughs> just go like this, the entire class. Just that's what I think you should do. Okay, uh, that second document I just posted. I'm going to try to do something a little different today. When we're having a discussion, I want to start feeding you some keywords and expressions. So I created a document that I'm sharing with you called Talkaholic Texts Series keywords and connectors. So we're going to look at this more when we're having a discussion. But for example, when you want to give your opinion, right, you've got to start using uh, key expressions, ones that you may have heard of and you could just test them out in class. Or if you have questions, I can give you some. But I'm going to make a list. So you'll see the type, the type of language function it is, for example, well, giving examples, that would be a type. Um, stating your opinion, that would be another type. Uh, politely requesting something, that would be a type. And then EN for English, I'll put the English expression there. And maybe, if it's possible, we could create a little dictionary. We could kind of crowdsource our key expressions and maybe some of you can translate those into other languages. So this is an experiment, but let's try it out today. Uh, okay, so let's get started. If you haven't read the article, this is a really short article, so I think we can actually read it during class time. Um, first question is, before I begin, uh, before we get started, put the link in this chat box too. What link do you want, Hazel? Oh, okay. okay put it You're taking care of it. Thank okay. you, Ahmad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And a quick hello to Lorenzo, who's just joining us now. Hi, Lorenzo. Welcome to class. Hello. Hey, Lorenzo. Where are you from? I'm from Dominican Republic. You're from the Dominican Republic. Excellent hello. to have you here. Thank you. If you need, if you need a copy <laughs> of the, if anyone needs a copy of the article, um, uh, I'm going to post the link. In, in the, the chat, chat window, right? Okay, now okay. I got it. And, I, and I'll post it in the other chat window as well, the Google chat, so you have it in both places. Okay, so just a quick question out there. Um, uh, how can I do this? I want to show you some pictures first. Yeah, let's start there. So hang on a second. Let me get to the right place. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but let, just tell me if it looks more or less clear. Can you see some pictures there on the top? Yes. Excellent. So let me just freeze the image on the picture. Um, OK. So first of all, what is that picture of on the right and on the left? And why do we have two different pictures in two different colors? What's going on? What do you think, Hazel? Why don't you start us off? On the on the left, not on the right. It's colorful. You said on mm. the right. On the on the. On the left. Uh, sure. So on the left is very colorful. Okay. Yes. And uh, and, it's, uh, and the how would you describe the picture on the right? It's a mural mural picture. I think it's on the wall, or it's graffiti. Right. It, no, it, it isn't okay, graffiti. Okay, so I we've got some it, already. Yes. yes. Well, no, it's it's okay to say graffiti. Graffiti can be beautiful too. Yes. Right? It doesn't have to be a negative thing. So it's a mural or graffiti on the right. Okay, great. On the left. And on the left. On the left. On the left. So, yeah, I'm sorry because my screen is backwards from yours. Oh, That's why. Okay, sorry about okay. that. Okay. <laughs> yes, you're right. On your On your left, it's the mural. And what do we see on the right? This is for the whole group. We can speak freely. What's on the right? Uh, there are some people working with blocks. Right. And what do you think the relation is between picture A and picture D on the left and on the right? What's the relationship between those two pictures? See, it's uh, probably is Berliner Strasse, so it is Berlin Moor, war. Yes. Exactly. 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 
<laughs> it's the Berlin Wall. So on the on the right side, we see them building the wall. We right? from the East Europe knows. I th I think Ursula said about. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Poland yes. and Romanian uh, heard about that uh, Berlin Wall. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and we've got some interesting pictures there, so that's why I wanted to look at some before and after photos. Uh, not photos, but photos of the wall, I meant to say. So, let's see if we can go to... We've got a provocative picture now. <laughs> uh, well, it's more of a statement. <laughs> so, what's, uh, first of all, who are those people on the left? Does anyone recognize those people? Uh, the left those are Brezhnev, former presidents. Brezhnev. And, and well, let's start maybe <laughs> maybe Honecker let's start and Brezhnev. okay so hazel is saying brezhnev and honecker Honecker. and honecker because i read the article oh oh oh, oh. former oh, presidents true. of the U <laughs> <laughs> and, and lorenzo Union you and germany because germany lorenzo yes. yeah yes i think uh, those are uh, uh, former presidents the former presidents of 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 uh, uh, I don't know because I I have not read the article. <laughs> okay, no problem. We're gonna read it because it's short. We're gonna read it in just a moment. Uh, and and would you add anything, uh, Ursula? Would you add anything to that? It's a president, former president of uh, Eastern uh, Germany. Right. In English, we tend to say East Germany, not East, Eastern. East right. Germany. East. Former president of East Germany and the premier of the Soviet Union at the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? No. No? Brezhnev was not a premier? Brezhnev, I think, was also president but of uh, Soviet Union. And um, Honecker was the president of East Europe, uh, East uh, Germany. Right, right. That's what I was saying. I was just saying premier because I don't think they use the term president. The Maybe. supreme Soviet. Yes. The, yes. Top, the top dog. <laughs> Maybe. I thought and, they were president both. Right. And let me ask uh, Chiho, what do you think of the picture on the right? How would you describe that scene? What are we looking at and how would you describe it? Yeah. It was many years ago, maybe. Yeah, so it's an old I, I didn't read the article, too, so. No problem. No problem. So just take a look I, at the picture, and what do you think about that picture? Very historical building. There are few yeah. historical buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's it's definitely some history going on in the picture. That's true. Okay. Yeah. And anyone else want to, excuse me, does anyone else want to add anything? What are we looking at in that picture? Uh, Which one? In the, on the right, picture E on the right. Okay. What are we looking at? Especially if you haven't read the article. By the way, it's okay if you have, because I wanted you to read the article first. That way, you already have a good idea about what you think in your opinion. So, but this time, since it's short, I'd like to read it again and focus a little bit more on uh, clearing of doubts and pronunciation and things like that, because it's, it's quite short. So anyone else want to add anything to picture E? And, and T-shirt, I think it's a uh, kind of parliament behind the... Uh, okay. Uh, and, yeah. and does anyone know? Does anyone know maybe... Um, I I think it's Brandenburg Gate uh, in front of uh, the people. Ah, is it Brandenburg from, Gate. from from um, uh, from Berlin, from East right, Berlin? Right, right, right. Incidentally, incidentally, <laughs> I'm not too young, and I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I haven't been to Berlin, but I think you're right. I think you're right. Is anyone? No first hand if that's the Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> I'll take that as no one short. <laughs> okay, one last set of pictures. 
What do you think the significance is of the picture on the left? Maybe I could say a quick hello to Alfredo, who joined us a little late. Hi, Alfredo. Are you there? If you're there, turn on your mic. Hey, there you go. Hi, Alfredo. Hello. I thought I heard a hello. Okay, I think he's having some microphone problems. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, how would you describe, knowing what we're looking at, how would you describe the significance of the picture on the left? Picture C. Picture C, that's right. Picture C. I don't know really, but uh, it uh, looks like uh, the launch of a uh, new, new car or uh, new brand. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. And what relationship does that have to the Berlin Wall? <clears throat> what do you think? I don't know because I have nothing to politics. <laughs> <laughs> the car crashed the wall. The car the wall. crashed. The car, Lorenzo. The car is crashing through the wall. Through, through, through the, wall. the through the wall. Yes. Excellent. Okay. And so, why might that be a mural on the wall? Why might that be a mural on the wall? And it has nothing to do with politics. It's just normal human things. We can all have an opinion about it. <clears throat> Remember, maybe, the wall was taken down, so we're talking about history now. So it's maybe, <laughs> maybe he or she doesn't have to drive <laughs> the car. Maybe they don't know how to drive the car. Could be. <laughs> Lo he, he or she lose the control. Um, Hazel, maybe do you have a different it's, opinion? Uh, I think uh, they tried uh, during the Cold War, uh, they tried to go on on the other part of the um, wall, to the west. They try the to get over the wall. Over the wall, or through the wall. Right. Or through the, the wall, side. right. Or through the wall, on the Absolutely. other side of the of Berlin, on the western side. Yeah, right. right. Uh, uh, someone <laughs> there. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm getting uh, a lot of feedback from Vincenzo, I think. So I'm going to need to mute you temporarily, Vincenzo just because I'm getting a lot of noise in the background. Okay, but you can turn your mic on when you're ready to speak. So, I wanted to point that out just to give some context for what we're going to read. And you're absolutely right. A lot of people wanted to get over or get through it, right? And did everyone make it across the wall? No. Many, no. many people died on the time. I read a book about that period. It's true. So, it was a real tragedy because now it practically doesn't exist anymore. It's almost hard to imagine and it wasn't that long ago. Here's a question. Um, what did I want to ask you? I wanted to ask you, hold on a second. Uh, let me see, I had some statistics here. Yes, here's the statistics. Let me ask the group, how many people are believed to have escaped across or through the wall? True. Did you want to venture, I guess? Thousand. Okay. Hazel says a thousand. Anyone else? I said a thousand, plural. A thousand. Thousands. I plural. see. Thousands. Okay. We're going to find out as we read, I believe. <clears throat> Sorry, where is that noise coming from? Oh, I think it's from. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe it was Flavio. Yes. Hi, Flavio. Uh, we're going to mute you temporarily because we're getting a lot of noise. But when you're ready to speak, you can turn your mic on again. No problem. Okay. So I'd like to keep th some of that, some of what we talked about in mind. I'd like to read this because it's a pretty short text, uh, and I think we can do it in about ten minutes. And the rest of the class, we're going to have a discussion about what we think about the issues that are raised and what we think about art and what we think about public policy and all sorts of things are going to come up. So, uh, open the text if you haven't opened it yet and if you need the link I can put it in the chat window and maybe I could ask Ms. Um, oh, I'm going to forget her name again. Hold on a second. <laughs> Ursula. There you go. Yes. Ms. Yes. Ursula. Want to want to start reading the text? So if you have the link, you can go directly to it. Yes, you, I can. Excellent. I can start. It's only Berlin, ten paragraphs, so everyone's going to get a chance. Go ahead. 
Berlin's Wall's most iconic paintings under threat from property developers. Berlin's most famous images, such as Brezhnev and Honecker's Kiss, are on parts of the wall set to be demolished for luxury flats. Okay, stop there, yeah. Um, by the way, leaders Brezhnev and Honecker in a passionate what? Clinch. Clinch. Anyone wonder what a clinch is? Kiss? <laughs> No. Not a kiss. Like a kiss, but not exactly a kiss. A clinch. A clinch is when you hold on or you grab someone. Oh, a win, yes. Okay, so they're sort of, <clears throat> it's a way to say that they are kissing without <laughs> directly saying it. Something like that. Okay, and Hazel, want to continue for us in three? Uh, yes. Uh, spilling out of the East. Eastern Comfort Hostel, which floats on Berlin's River Spray, a gaggle of Spanish tourists in town for a week of clubbing poses for the customary snapshots uh, at one of the city's most iconic images. The painted mural of former Soviet and East German leaders Leonid Brezhnev and Eric Honecker in a passionate. Can, can, wait, can I just interrupt quick? Oh, sorry. Yes. I, I'm totally lost. Where, where are you reading? I'm sorry. Second paragraph, uh, Brezhnev and Eric Honecker, about uh, third... Uh, second paragraph? Wait a second. Why, why are you reading the something third. different than I see? Oh, I the read The third again. one. Our guidebook. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're on the third one, Hazel. Yes, sorry. I read the same one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was confused too. So, I thought, uh, but... From 1.3 kilometers? Uh, no, I think no, 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 no that, that was yeah. Our, our guidebook, guidebook describes. There you but go. Le let's ask uh, Ursula. I thought I thought she. She finished with luxury flats. Yes. Luxury yeah. flats. Oh yes. Our guide. Just continue. A moment. Ah. My. Green frost. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't we Our, come? Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Our guidebook describes it as an unbroken length of wall, said Coco Garcia Lopez, a 21 year old art student from Madrid. But the gallery, she notes, already has a gaping hole after a 50 meter section was removed some years ago to provide access to a boat landing stage and an open view on the river for the uh, O2 World Arena, which dominates the land adjacent to the gallery. Adjacent? Adjacent. Adjacent. Adjacent to the Good. gallery. If Berlin's not careful, it will lose all of this beautiful structure, she said. Okay, so uh, what is the danger here? of what's happening now to the wall. It's going to be demolished. Could be demolished. Uh, That's one of the dangers, right. Yeah. And, and let me ask Lorenzo, why do you think some people are, are, are going to be very upset if that happens, Lorenzo? Especially think about those pictures we looked at in the beginning. What would you say? Uh, because uh, this part of the, hi uh, the history Exactly, it's part of the history, and even more so, uh, uh, Chiho, what else would you say besides history uh, what does the wall have? Why do they call this part the gallery? What do you think, Chiho? Uh-oh, are you there, Chiho? <laughs> I don't hear Chiho, do you? Okay. So, uh, Inga, what would you say, besides history, besides historical reasons, what else would we lose if this was demolished? Is anyone out there? Artwork it will be destroyed. Yeah. I'm just curious, is, is, can everyone hear me okay? Because I was talking to Inga, didn't hear anything? Yes. 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 Inga, are you there? Yes. Oh, okay. You didn't say anything. 
I thought you did hear me. <laughs> and Chiho, are you there as well? Hmm. Strange. I think we lost Chiho. Okay. So Inga, wh what Sorry, else would be lost? Why do we? What? I'm I'm just confused. Do you have another text on your screen, and do we have another? We uh, lost the first paragraph, which Hazel uh, tried to read. So. Ah, uh, okay. My text is different than yours. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, sorry, because I'm not linking. I, I downloaded the article, so maybe that's the confusion. Hold on. Let me see if I can open the original. We have the original article. Yeah, yeah, but I downloaded it, and maybe I downloaded a different version or something. Hold on. I'm going to try to open it on my computer. So I won't share my screen, because that will just confuse everyone. And I can't download it. <laughs> so. Okay, so I'm on paragraph three, our guidebooks. What paragraph is that for all of you? Is that different for all? Okay, now I got it open. Now I can see. Our guidebook, okay. Uh, let's see if mine is mine different than yours. Hang on a second. No, I think mine's the same. It looks the no, same. No, uh, yeah. you haven't the first paragraph. Spilling out of the Eastern Comfort Hostel. That's true. That's yes, true. That's why I be, I started to read that. <laughs> because okay, I but it's all, Ursula it's didn't read that <laughs> paragraph. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's it's only the first paragraph though. The rest is the same. Oh. Sorry about that. I didn't realize my version was different. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but the rest is the same. So we agree that it's not just history. It's also something about art, Artwork. right? Um. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment. <laughs> okay. So, uh, for those of you who enjoy musical theater, we're going to continue. Um, where are we? Um, so, Inga, why don't you continue? Uh, I don't know where we are on your text. I think... On my text, the we latest, stopped. the latest, that's the it. The okay. latest threat. See where we are, Inga? Yes. Okay. The latest threat is from uh, li uh, living levels, a uh, 63 meter high tower of uh, 36 flats and offices, which its developers, a uh, living Bauhaus, describe as a totally new di dimension of life and living, offering breathtaking panoramic views. Excellent. Let's stop there and pause just for a second. Why is that ironic? This is for anyone in the group. You can all answer. Why is that ironic? Living Bauhaus describes it as breathtaking panoramic views. What's the irony in that paragraph, do you think? What do you think? Silence. Silence is golden. I think this uh, 63 meter high tower will right. um, will cover the artwork and uh, yes, or and it might be demolished to build it. Right, either way. Either way, yes. So that's why it's ironic. That's why it's ironic. Anyway, because of what? Anyway, is is not um, all right. Uh, even if uh, the, the wall, if or the wall will be demolished, or or, or um, this uh, high um, tower will be constructed and will um, cover the view of the artwork. Is right, it right. This idea. Or yeah, not? this idea that they're building this high rise and they're going to offer private people who have the money to buy or rent a flat a panoramic view, right? And the irony is that you're going to lose the view that exists. The view. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you're going to get rid of the Here one that's free for everyone. Right, right, right. Okay, just want to make sure that was clear. Um, Chiho, are you there? Going once, going twice. Oh, um, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Oh, you're back. Okay. I'm sorry. Because I was talking to you and you didn't say anything before. Sorry. Chiho, wanna, are you following along? Want to continue reading for us? Okay. Uh, Do you know where, where we are? Where is it? Uh-oh. 
tell where tell you could tell her should where I, to um, but opponents of the plan. So uh, we're okay. on but opponents. Okay. But the opponent of the plan said it would destroy the uh aesthetic aesthetic aesthetics. Aesthetics of the gallery which is visited by an est estimated 800,000 visitors a year, as well as Good. insulting the memory of those who were killed on the former this trip. Right. So, we've got another interesting dimension here. It used to be called the death strip, and now it's called the gallery. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Hello? <laughs> I'm talking to the whole group. Speaking about irony, what do you think about that? By the way, you can speak freely. That's part of being a talkaholic, that you're addicted to talking. So feel free to, anytime you want to jump in. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's get through the article because it's, it's pretty short. Uh, I think next to you is... Um, Let's see if we got Mr. Ahmed. Want to continue for us? We're on in this place, in okay. this very place. Okay. In this very place, people died, and the idea of building luxury flats here would be like uh, erecting a petrol station in front of one of Berlin's museums, said Sacha Disseldam, manager of the Sage nightclub who represents several high-profile Berlin clubs, including Watergate, Kater uh, Holzig, Tracer and Lido, which have taken a stand against the new development, saying it would re irreparably, uh, irreparably damage the character of the area. Right. Irreparably damage. How would you say that in plain English? You, Ahmed, or anyone, it doesn't matter. How would you say irreparably damaged in a more simple way? What do you think? I'm not sure, but it might be. Still so let's, let's ask the group. Okay. If you're not sure, let's ask the group. How about Larissa? Do you know what that means? Irreparably damaged. I only call on Larissa because I haven't heard from you yet. Yeah, it's because I got the quest just... Ah, okay. Oh my God! Well, but if you need the article, click on the link that Ahmed posted. Okay. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, and let me ask uh, uh, Ursula. Yes. What do you, how would you say irreparably damaged in a simpler way? I I th this think that it means that uh, it uh, could never be repaired. It is exactly. damaged forever. Yeah. Damage forever. So irreparably is connected to the word repair. It means the opposite of repair. Irreparably, right? The opposite of repair. It's a little bit, it's a strange way to change the word, but it comes from repair. Exactly. Okay, and what can't we repair? Just to be clear? The damage. The, the damage to? The wall. Right. And, and how do. And if you and the art work from the and wall. the art. So ultimately, what are we damaging in Berlin? Ultimately, in the final estimation, we're damaging the gallery. Gallery, art, art gallery. No. The gallery is a physical thing. It's part of the wall where you have lots of murals, right? And beyond that, we're damaging. I'm only repeating what the article said. Where you, memory. Yeah, okay, so we're, so we're damaging s history, history, and, and the history, article says history. the character, too, the character of the area. So we're kind of damaging the culture of Berlin, according to the people that are against the development. And it seems like a reasonable thing to be concerned about, right? Because it is living history, it's still there. Not living in the sense of being alive, but living in the sense of uh, the wall is a reminder of what happened. Right, and the paintings on it 
are a reminder of the freedom that happened afterwards. So it's a very complicated but interesting situation. Um, what, let's let's get through the article. Um, I'd like to go to uh, who's next in line. So, well, Larissa, why don't you read the next paragraph for us? I think we are at the part where it's uh, a person's name. I think it's Kani uh, Alavi. That's where we are, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead, Larissa. Uh, Kani Alavi, head of the artist's initiative East Side Gallery, who led a uh, 2.5. Pounds, I think so. No, no, not uh, pounds, million, but it would be million. two point five million euros or two million pounds. Two million. Two pounds. million, not pounds, but pounds. two million pound restoration project because it's describing the the project. So two million pound restoration project. Restoration. Here? project of the wall four years ago and was one of the original artists to paint on the wall said the whole of the structure was now under threat we see this act as a direct act of destruction towards the artwork to the extent that you might as well tear the whole thing down he said okay Excellent. Uh, so let's just finish the article because there's only three paragraphs, and then we'll come back and look at questions if you have any. Uh, Mr. Flavio, are you there? Because you were there earlier. Would you like to continue reading? Turn on your mic, Mr. Flavio. Going once, going twice. Okay. No, Mr. Flavio. Mr. Oh, wait. Mr. Vincenzo, would you like to continue reading for us? With the moment, uh, we're at uh, the parts of the wall. Okay. And yes, yes. With the moment, the so of the wall that are to be removed, so the flat zone will have better access to the water beer. The famous colorful. Heads with big lips, painted by the French artist Terry Noir. Terry Noir. This week, the, the 54-year-old year old artist joined pro protesters at the wall to fight mm -hmm. for the preservation of his work as a part of the gallery and the wall survival. Excellent, excellent. And that picture, by the way, is in the article. That's, that's the top picture you see. The people with big lips, an iconic image from Berlin. Um, let's continue with, um, well, I don't hear from Flavio. Are you there now? Because I think your mic is on. Flavio? Hello. Hello. Hey, Flavio. Nice Do to have you with us. Do you have the article in front of you? Oh, I, I'm sorry, but I am, but um, because because I don't I don't listen you. You can't hear me. I cannot okay. I cannot, cannot listen you. Uh, okay. So okay. so we're going to if you uh, okay. So if you're having trouble, we'll come back to you in the discussion. Okay. So hang on a second. Let me just say a quick hello to Emma. Are you there, Emma? If you are, turn on your mic. Yes, how are hello, you? Emma. Emma. Where are you from, Emma? Uh, I'm from, from Argentina, Buenos Aires. Oh, Buenos Aires. Okay, excellent. Would you like to continue reading for us? Next paragraph, okay. please. Yeah, yeah. All the paintings have become a symbol of freedom in Berlin and Europe, she said. Unlike elsewhere in the city, where the majority of the world has been removed. This is the unique opportunity to preserve a large section of what was once a dead strip. If you remove these sections, you are destroying the authenticity of this place. Okay, so that is a really key point. That's a really key paragraph, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. It's something that we talked about a little bit earlier. Okay, so just to finish up, I think everyone's read one time. 
Um, let's go back with um, uh, Ursula. Why don't you continue now? Yes. The district may mayor. The district's mayor. The district's mayor. The Green MP Franz Schulz. MP stands for what? Member of Parliament. Right. Maybe member or minister. Uh, depends. Okay. Probably member of Parliament. You're right. Member Keep going. Confirmed that part. Parts of the wall would have to be removed. The investor has a legal right to demand this, so we'll have to do it. But he insisted the removal of the wall sections would not only make space for the flats, but would also enable the construct construction of a new walkway for cyclists and pedestrians. The so-called Bromley Brum, Brum, Br Bridge, which will be a reconstruction of a bridge that was destroyed in wartime bombing, as well as providing an emergency exit for visitors to the adjacent... Adjacent? Ad and adjacent Spree Park. Okay, good. And by the way, uh, bombing does you don't pronounce the B because in English a B is always silent if it follows a consonant. So we wouldn't say bombing, but bombing, yes, bombing. right? It's yes, something that's very easy to get confused in English because it's a strange rule. But anyway, it's bombing. Okay, and last paragraph. I think we're back to Inga for the final paragraph. Mm -hmm. Posing at another of the world's iconic images, often each German car, the Traben, appearing to tear through the wall. Garcia to Lopez. Tear through the wall. Tear through the to wall. Tear through the wall. Garcia Lopez, the Spanish tourist uh, who was not yet born when the Berlin was uh, brought down in November 1989, said, Is the best place for me to come and have any sort of an inkling of what it must have been like to live in a divided city. If this goes, then that opportunity goes to... Wow, okay. <clears throat> so, um, that maybe we should start there. Um, what do you think about, about this person who's visiting Garcia? First of all, can you imagine anyone who was not born in 1989? <laughs> <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> is anyone here? Was anyone here born after? Yeah, after 1989. It's impossible, right? <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> I don't think anyone can be that young. I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Um, so, first of all, what's what's at stake here? Do we agree? Do we agree with Garcia Lopez? Do we agree with her? Hello? <laughs> if, you, if you're not sure, let's restate in your own words what she's trying to argue for. Uh, John Eric, uh, sorry, yeah? uh, what does it mean, inkling? Excellent, good question. Um, I've got a bunch. I think, I think I've, got a, I've got a bunch of, of words that you need to think about. I'll put them in the chat box. Iconic was one, uh, clink, clinch was another one. Okay, I'm just putting these in the chat box on the on the right side. To be adjacent to, these are some words that came up that are kind of difficult. Inkling was definitely one, right? And we're going to crowdsource it. I want the group to try to figure out what these words mean, and I'll tell you the answer at the end if you're not sure. And also, I corrected your pronunciation. Tear, right? Tear down. So out of those words, iconic, clinch, adjacent to, inkling, and tear, are any of those words uh, unfamiliar to you? Can anyone give an example of inkling? Inkling. No. Go ahead. Not, not, not exactly knowing, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, very good. I Excellent. Feel like feel like I know it, but uh, I'm not sure exactly. That is exactly correct. 
we might say to have a slight knowledge of something, but not to be sure. That's an inkling. Okay. Makes sense? Is that more or less clear? Um, yes. uh, Inga? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. All right. And since you read that part about tear down, what's another way to say that in your own words? What was, what did we tear down? In this case, in the article, what was, by the way, what's the past of tear? Tor. Tor. Tor, right? So. To rip. To rip, okay. Could be, if it's fabric. Yes. What if it's the Berlin Wall? <laughs> demolish. To demolish. Okay. So, to knock or pull down a building or any kind of construction, right? To tear down. If it's fabric, it means to rip. And adjacent to. Earlier we talked about adjacent to. Oh, I know in my language. Give me a similar word. The wall was adjacent to what in that one picture? The wall was adjacent to what? Was linked to. Yeah, kind of like linked. Okay. It's not so far off. It, 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 it doesn't necessarily... Well, adjacent, yeah. I, I, I don't know if it has to be physically linked. Okay. Yeah. So another word might be simply near. So in the chat box, when a building or room is situated near something, it's adjacent to. So another way to say near. An iconic. What was iconic in these pictures? Any yeah. ideas? The Go ahead, Ahmed. The expression, the feeling. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> OK. Uh, the opinion, uh, they tried to, um, to translate or uh, to express by uh, mm -hmm by drawing on the wall, maybe, painting okay. or something like that, yeah. Okay, so, and, so if it's iconic, it represents something bigger than itself. It has a kind of a life of its own. So I would say acting as a sign or symbol. And because symbolic. it's some symbol, symbolic, right. And so these images on the wall, they are iconic. When we think of the identity of the city, we may think of these images. They're very famous. Uh, since 1989 and before. There, it was daring to paint on the wall because there used to be armed guards on the top. And I remember that when I was a kid. <laughs> so it was a big deal. And now it's almost like it never happened. And that's one of the points. So um, uh, what I'd like to know is um, what's the difference between art and graffiti in relation to the gallery. What do you think? Earlier, someone said, I think Hazel said graffiti, and I said, well, you could also say graffiti. Is graffiti art, and is art graffiti? People say it is art, but uh, graffiti, I think it's uh, more illegal. To it, it tends to be illegal, right. Yes. So why, would, why might the graffiti be art in this particular case? Kind of a trick question. Because uh, it has been represented in the public, maybe. It's been represented in the public, in the public, so the public knows about it? No, I mean, uh, not in, <coughs> uh, in, uh, how would you call it? Um, I don't know how to say. I mean, not in a certain place. Uh, I don't know in English. <laughs> uh, usually, uh, if uh, it is a gallery, uh, mm -hmm. there is place or certain place to mm -hmm. show yeah. this. Yeah, to show these paintings. Uh, that uh, that could be uh, art. More graffiti. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if we take graffiti, and we put yeah. it in a special place that we call a gallery. Does that make it art? Sure, I think yes. Yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting idea. <laughs> Maybe because it shows a, a very important uh, part of history. Okay, right. So p maybe the idea here is that it started off as graffiti, 
but it became part of history and somehow that raises it up to the level of art. Uh, do you think that um, uh, we could say that graffiti is something that can come and go, but art is something that stays? Would that be a fair definition? That somehow art can't really disappear? Would you agree with that, with that statement or disagree? Or do you not understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Because, because what, what, Ors what Orsula was saying reminds me of an idea. And so my way of expressing it would be that the difference between art and graffiti is memory. Somehow art just doesn't disappear. It can't be erased. But graffiti can. Uh, and so somehow graffiti is like uh, colorful noise in the background of the city, but no specific part of graffiti is important, whereas with art it somehow becomes memorable, somehow it can't be erased. Even if you were to demolish it or take down the wall, it, those iconic images wouldn't really disappear from our memory. And so if, it's just an idea, but uh, that's why I was asking that particular question. By the way, what's art? <laughs> that's my idea of art. What's your idea of art? I need to ask Chiho this because she's been too quiet. Uh, I like the art. Yeah, what is it? I think it depends on the person. Depends on the person. How do you think about the art? Mm -hmm. so, so what would you say? What is it for you? I love art. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, well, uh, if, if you love it, you must know what it is, right? So define it for us. <laughs> and graffiti, I love graffiti too. Graffiti? graffiti. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, it's a difficult question. Um, just let, me ask, uh, let me ask you, uh, let me ask you a question. If you saw graffiti on a famous painting like the Mona Lisa, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. would you still love graffiti? <laughs> if someone painted graffiti on the yes, Mona Lisa, would you still think it's graffiti, or would yes, you think it's yes? That's... Because some graffiti are very high quality, mm. right? Uh, I okay. maybe as you know, because I live in New York right now, and there's. There are a lot of graffiti uh, around in New York, mm -hmm. and uh, some graffiti are so nice. And uh, I sometimes go to see, and uh, oh, uh, maybe yeah, very inspire me. <laughs> do you, do you, where where are you? Are you are you in the city? Are you in Brooklyn? Uh, I I'm city. I'm a David city. I'm a David city. Uh, I used to live on, on West 23rd Street next to Father Demo Square off of 6th Avenue, Avenue of the Americas. There's a great place for bagels there called Bagels on the Square. Okay, <laughs> Tell them I said hi. They haven't seen me in 15 years. Tell them I said hi. Mm -hmm. And you can get, uh, you can get uh, uh, an egg bagel with, uh -huh. with, salmon, with salmon cream cheese. Bits of fresh salmon. I highly okay. suggest it. Bagels on the Square, okay. off of Father Demo Square, Sixth Avenue, Avenue of the Americas. Okay. By the way, okay. I just got okay. paid five hundred dollars to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, Mr. Ahmed, um, do you think that art is completely subjective, or do you think that there's something that makes it, I don't know, something that makes it art that we can all agree on? Because earlier we talked about putting graffiti in a gallery and then it would be art. And I like that idea a lot. So what do you think about that idea? Is there something that makes it art mm. for you? Uh, the graffiti, you mean? Graffiti, OK. Uh, I think uh, both, I mean, uh, graffiti or art, uh, they are kind of um, uh, kind of, uh, to express the feeling, OK? But mm. yeah, interesting. But, yeah, but graffiti um, differs um, in maybe uh, it might be uh, it might be rude uh, 
humorous or political on words. Mm. Sometimes, yeah, on doors sometimes. So you're saying that graffiti might serve a different purpose than art? Yeah. Interesting. I think so. Hmm. Oh, I think we have a we have a burgeoning art critic in Mr. Ahmed. Have you mm -hmm. considered a career in art criticism, Ahmed? No, <laughs> maybe maybe you should. It's hard to say. Um, I wanted to ask a question to Mr. Vincenzo if you're out there, Mr. Vincenzo, because I see you but I don't hear you, Mr. Vincenzo. Hey. Don't forget to turn hey. on your mic. Hey. Echo, hey. echo hey. Okay. <laughs> Where where are you? Are you in Rome? Where are you? Yes, uh, I am in Rome. Uh, the, the part of Rome. <laughs> Do you know it? Yes, yes, I know Rome. I lived a little bit there in Trastevere a long time ah, ago. Trastevere, yes, very, very, very beautiful. Uh, very beautiful, yes. <laughs> Vincenzo, let me ask you: <laughs> If someone painted a very beautiful painting or really good graffiti, on the um, yes. on the uh, the Egyptian obelisk in the center of Rome, or on the Spanish Steps, would that be art, or would that be graffiti? Would that be something? Uh, do you think it's legitimate, or do you think that that would just be? I don't distinguish. Say again. What did you say? What, what did you say? Say I don't distinguish between graffiti and art. Ah, why is that? that? Why? To, no, I, wa I want to say that uh, I mean that art is something that la that lasts in the time. It's I agree. That's what I was saying earlier. I, I agree with remain. you. I agree completely. Yes. So I, I can't distinguish. I can't distinguish between the two. The tools. <laughs> Uh, when there is a, an artistic uh, opera, how do you say it? An artistic work. painter or work. Artistic, uh, on a, an, a, an artistic work, uh, it sends a message that can be uh, recognized uh, long before the time where it was written, you know? Mm -hmm. Or the time before the time it was created, right? Was created, right. yes, yes. So I mean this. I think, I think this. Bit, that's why the Mona Lisa remain uh, in the time, in the, oh, <laughs> we can uh, recognize a, a, a work, an artistic work, uh, along the time. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I, I I happen to agree with you a lot, um, Hazel. If someone painted a mustache on the Mona Lisa, yeah. would that be graffiti or <laughs> art? What do you think, Hazel? <laughs> yes, graffiti. Mm -hmm. It would be graffiti for Hazel. Inga, would you think that's graffiti? Yes. Well, you know that someone did paint a mustache on the Mona Lisa? In this case, on copy. It is a. A bad copy of Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that it was a big improvement, but that's just me. A big improvement, yes. <laughs> oh, yes some it's, people it's, say it's, that it's a self-portrait Very funny. Uh, Mona Lisa. Very funny. <laughs> no, Vincenzo, it's not funny. It made us think about the Mona Lisa. Therefore, <laughs> right? yes, a man. It's, yes, it's another message, but I, I don't think that it can last uh, a long time. <laughs> well, I wonder. I wonder if it would last a long time. Time is very relative. I think it depends. See, my idea here is that it's all about memory, and if we forget what was important about the Mona Lisa, then we need someone to paint a mustache on it. Right? Mm -hmm. The okay. moment we understand that message, then we can forget about the mustache. But as long as we can't get the message, we need the mustache. Anyway, there that's was, a theory. Mm, <laughs> there, there was an artist like Salvatore Dali. It was, it was very uh, curious, very funny uh, when he did his, his uh, artistic mm -hmm. works, you know? But in this case, uh, uh, I think that uh, his uh, works 
it was only uh, to um, hit hit uh, hit the spectator, hit the person who was looking at the. You mean wait, wait. Moment. You mean you mean Vincenzo to shock the spectator? Uh, yes, shock. only only to shock. But, uh, this is this is uh, this is another message. It's another message. Another way to make art. You know, to make art. But I don't believe it. I don't uh, believe it in this in this way. You know, uh, because it's something more exterior, more uh, superficial. Do, do you agree? Uh, no. No. <laughs> 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 it loves modern art. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, but no, I don't agree because I think it's just. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's. Do in you my like, opinion, it's very do you, do relative. You, do you like Salvador Dali? Yeah, he's a genius, of course. Genius. Yeah, he's okay. a genius, mm. but he had very bad political views. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't okay. care. He didn't care very much about what was happening around him, and that's unfortunate. But he absolutely was a genius, and he had a great mustache, a wonderful mustache. <laughs> yes. One of the most important things. They, they, it, they <laughs> was very important for him. They well, listen, were. Listen, everyone. They, they I'm, were, we're going to have. They oh, were very, very important. I have to interrupt here. Um, I have to stop. Only because I have another class and I'm already <laughs> one minute late. Okay. So I apologize. I'd like to keep talking. Okay, okay. Let's, but let's, I'll tell you what. Keep on. Keep what, on. Let me just let me just interrupt for a moment. Uh, listen, uh, if you have an idea for an article or even a theme that you'd like to explore, just let me know on my Facebook page or on my Google Plus page. Okay, and, and or if you have a specific article, send me a link, and we can turn it into a class. Uh, in the future, I'd like to work also on those key expressions. Today, we got busy talking, and I kind of forgot it, which is the second day in a row. But tomorrow, I promise I'll do it. So don't lose the link to this doc, the um, the keywords and connectors. And we're, I'm going to start to put in some important words you should use to help express your opinion and compare and contrast and things like that. Didn't get to it today, but I will do it next time. Okay, everyone, I'll be back tomorrow for three classes. Okay, if you need me, just talk to me on my Facebook or Google Plus. Otherwise, hope to see you very soon in the next class. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.